All right, well, I cheated. I had two donuts, <laughs> but no coffee. So when I make the coffee, that'll be time for no more donuts. Really, I promise. I'm just going to have a cup of coffee. And you too, okay? Or tea, if you like tea. Tea is great. All right, now, this is probably the only pinning you're going to see me do. Uh, and that's because pockets. My stuff has got to have pockets. You know, cell phone, candy, uh, your kids toys. I used to run into trouble with that. All right, so I'm just going to pin these pockets on the front and then I'm going to flip it over so so the right sides will be in and our next part will be sewing. And we'll be almost done. And yes, I plan to do a roll hem around this neckline to finish it off. Again, that's why I love fleece cuz I'm going to roll that and it'll disappear. I don't have to do any more work on it. I don't have to put binding or anything like that. All right, and then you can go to store in it, you can go to bed in it, and who knows what else you can do with it. Okay, here we go. Again, I measured nothing. I'm just eyeballing it. Look at that. All right, that looks good to me. Look good to you, camera person? <laughs> She's naughty. The dog thinks it's good, too. See, he's not even walking on it, so he must think it's cool. All right. And I'm only marking placement for these pockets because, oh, here we go. I'm going to fold it under. Now, if I really felt like it, and I still may, I, I may just hand the top of that. It depends on whether or not I use a serger. If I use a serger, I won't. Um, but if I do not use my serger, I will roll him that uh, before I put it on the garment. Okay, so, for placement. And so when you take, when I take that off to do the roll hem, I'm going to put the pins right back in the place where I take the pockets off so I can remember where they were. One time I measured so badly, I eyeballed so badly, the pocket became a unit pocket in the front. So, <laughs> just because I was lazy. Yes, I'm lazy. Okay. Fold that under here. All right. And I know my camera person is having a fit. She has to measure everything. She's going to ask me, how big are those pockets? I'm going to, I don't know. Go get me the tape measure. So I promise you, I will have that information when we come back. I'm getting better. She's training me well. Okay. Go. And here we go. Reach under here so it doesn't pin to the back piece. Oh, I pinned something else before with that one. Okay. Right. And here. Okay, that's pretty much where I want it. I don't have another pin, so we're going to do it over here. All right, now. All right, so you cut both of the sides the same, so you can trust yourself to pull this up and flip it over. You don't even have to pin it. And that's another reason why I don't I don't cut this out just yet. See that? These notches that I cut when we started? That tells me where I have to put it back. And where I start my seam. Okay? You put <clears throat> everything back. Alright, so now you have it inside out. And if you are spatially challenged. You can't be leaving your stuff laying all over the place because the cats and the dogs will play tennis on it or do other things on it. Uh, be sure you place it back face to face, right? Okay. One sleeve in, other sleeve in. Bring it down and bring it in half and again. And that will stay put until you take it back into your sewing room, which is where we're going to go. <laughs> sewing room slash bedroom slash reading room slash music room. And then we're going to sew it together. But in the meantime, it's good. You can lay it on the table and it'll be cool until you come back at it. And if you have any questions, really, feel free to comment on, uh, on YouTube for me and uh, I'll be more than happy to answer you promptly. So I'll see you at part two. We're going to do this in two parts, I promise. Not seven. <laughs> two parts. All right. So thank you so much for watching and I can't wait to get to it. And no, I'm not going to eat a third donut, just coffee. Bye.